Well, I have just had my first failure on the TiVo Michelangelo. Um, it was a nozzle blockage and I thought it was uh, um, going to be easy to rectify but after looking at what the actual issue was I shall show you. Um, so the nozzle blocked um, and I went to clear it and um, try and pull the filament out which the filament came out fairly easy but when I went to feed some back in it just wouldn't feed in and the nozzle has baked the filament in there rock solid so that's that's totally plugged um, when I started to try and remove the Bowden tube I realized I couldn't remove the Bowden tube and um, the reason why is this the coupling which are these are just air fitting couplings that are used for these tubes or well, the ones that I've seen anyway and what's actually happened is is the coupling has almost severed completely through the Bowden tube and the reason for that is the pendulum motion obviously let's bring this down the head is there and it's going that way and that way backwards and forwards or across should I say continuously well because it's fixed back here and comes out and loops in it tends to rotate as it moves backwards and forwards I suspect all printers that have this kind of arrangement do similar motion on the Bowden tube but I think because this tube is so short it's um, the rotation the rotating motion is amplified somewhat and uh, this printer has been running flat out 24 7 and um, yeah as a result it's nearly cut through the tube I shall zoom right in so you can see there that is excuse me try and get the best angle I can on this if I flex it you can see there it's nearly cut through um, and hence I can't feed any more filament down that tube it's blocked at that point and uh, I can't get anything down past through there so yeah I'm a little <clears throat> not sure, quite sure what to do really because if I just replace the tube the same thing's going to happen. Um, these fittings, as most people probably do know, they're just air fittings really. And in the bottom of that fitting, and fittings like this, there's a very sharp stainless steel serrated edge. You probably won't be able to see it in there. But that serrated edge is what catches onto the tube and obviously as, you, as it's been rotating it's cut a nice groove in that tube and like I say it's nearly cut through it so I'm not quite sure what to do I, I want to get the printer working but I don't want to just put the tube back in now I will s state some of this may be my own fault because I have used this Capricorn type tubing and it is it is a fraction smaller than the white nylon tube but I mean we're talking a very small fraction um, points of a mil and um, yeah I've put this stuff back in the fitting and it this still rotates anyway so this will do the same eventually 
as this moves backwards and forwards that rotating motion will cut through the tube. Now obviously the shorter you make that tube which is something I did, I did cut the tube down um, and I've seen some videos on YouTube where people have cut this tube shorter obviously by cutting that tube shorter you're going to accelerate and aggravate that twisting swiveling motion um, obviously the longer the tube the less it's liable to rotate in that coupling and the less it's liable to cut through but I think it will do it over time anyway I mean this printer has been running flat out non-stop up until now and yeah by fixing that tube there to there creates a rotating motion there and over time I mean quite a, a long time you know a good month I suspect that's what's going to happen and um, like I said I couldn't actually remove the tube that was so locked on there I had to remove the whole thing and push the tube through the other way because it it was not going to come back the serrated edge had really cut such a chamfer in there the edges couldn't get clear and the tube was not going to come back out so I had to remove the fitting and well I removed everything really heat block and heater sorry cooling block whatever you want to call it um, and one thing I've noticed with these is um, I'm not totally fond of this idea um, it's obviously this is the heat brake now the heat brake is totally open so this is the heat brake and it's an all through design so the PTFE finishes on that very end and as a result your PTFE tube will get slightly baked um, <clears throat> and as a result yeah it will degrade and deform over time so I'm not fond of these designs where the PTFE tube goes all the way through and actually gets heated by the heater block so obviously that's the heater block the PTFE tube is actually you know it, it's it's getting cooked really so I might change this bit I was thinking about putting an E3D design on um, standard E3D V6 mainly so I could get a silicon cover because this will improve prints for sure um, but yeah, obviously I can't fit that. I'm not I'm not keen on putting that in the heat block and having the PTFE tube all the way through, so I'm gonna see if there's some parts available to convert that or change it or I might make something myself, I'll let you know. But my biggest problem is this tube. I'm just not keen about putting this back together how it was and um having the same thing happen. I mean this this Capricorn tube is very expensive stuff. People will know if you only bought any of it or used it, it's it's quite expensive. I mean there's probably ten pounds worth of tube well and maybe nearly five or six pounds worth of tube just there. And a good few inches of it are now ruined and it's only I don't know what I'm gonna use it for because it's too short for anything else. So it's ruined that tube. Um obviously I've gotten the white stuff but yeah, I prefer the Capricorn, it is a, a little bit better. Um, it does create slight more drag on the filament, but there is less play for the filament to wander inside the tube and it does give a slightly better accurate extrusion rate compared to the white stuff, but yeah, I don't want to replace it every month because this fitting has um, done that. It's the first time I've seen it that bad and I think it's because that motion is so small on this printer. So yeah, that's it guys. I've had a, my first actual breakdown on the TiVo Michelangelo which has been running absolutely fantastic up until now. Uh, I can't fault the printer really. Not for the money. Um, not at all. It, it's, you know, up until now it's produced some awesome parts without fault every time. But now, 
I'm just not quite sure what to do. So if anyone's got any ideas what to change these fittings to, I mean, I've looked, I can't see anything that's better than a standard air fitting. I mean, all the fittings I've seen all have that serrated edge that grip this tube. So I think my only option is to remove the rotating motion. So yeah, any help or any assistance, please give me your thoughts. Um, because I want to put this back into action, but I'm um, yeah, not quite sure what to do with it just yet. <sighs> Any ideas? Yeah. Any thoughts? Leave some comments. Thanks, guys. TiVo Michelangelo is um, out of action until now. Cheers, guys.